Hi everyone. This is Chloe and Chrissy from Skyting. Welcome to Good Moves with Well and Good. This is gonna be a strengthening flow. We're gonna do about 20 minutes and you don't need anything on your mat, just your yoga mat. So let's get started. We're gonna start on hands and knees. So you can put yourself in a tabletop shape. Hands set up underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Just a few easy cat-cow spines to begin, arching the back and rounding the spine, just so you get some spinal mobility this early on in practice before we start to get into the fiery stuff. Let's do about one more. Inhale, arch the back, open the chest, and exhale to round. From here, you're gonna come back through center. Weight is in your left knee and your two hands. Take your right leg and lift it up and back behind you with a bend in the knee, and you can flex your foot like you're holding a tray with that foot. From here, you're gonna just do some baby pulses of the heel up towards the ceiling. So you're gonna get a little more action, a little more fire in the hamstring, the back of the right leg, and you'll start to feel a little bit of heat all the way up into the front of the hip. From here, you're gonna keep the right knee bent, pull the knee wide to the side like a, not to be too crude, but a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. And then you're gonna draw the knee underneath you and then bring it back up to that starting position. Do that two more times, circling around and lifting it back up. This will get some range and mobility in the hip, but also, again, a little bit of that heat. From here, you're gonna go the other way, drawing the knee in first and then opening it wide and circling it around. Again, like that. Good, and then one more time like that. Nice, from here, keep the right knee back behind you, extend the leg long, flex the toes to the floor, and then you're gonna keep the weight into the right palm and take your left hand and reach it forward out in front of you. Open the chest, look forward, lift the left hand, lift the right heel a little higher, and then draw the elbow and the knee together underneath you. From here, leg back, arm forward. As you exhale, pull them back underneath you. And just one more of those, arm forward and leg back, inhale and round it out. Very nice, hand down, knee down to the floor, simple cat-cow to wash the spine, open the chest, and round it out. Back through center, and then you're gonna take just that left leg and lift it back behind you. First, flex the foot, little baby pulses with the heel up towards the ceiling just to activate the back of the leg. The hamstring starts to light up a little bit more. And then you're gonna take those big circles, left knee out wide to the side, Wrap it underneath you, pull it back behind you, and then circle it around twice more. Maybe you do it with a smile. Maybe you take a big breath. And then circle the other way. Pull it underneath you, circle it out to the side, and then wrap it back. Very nice, one more. And then this time as you bring your leg back behind you, extend the leg back behind you so it feels like a warrior three position with that left leg. And then the right arm, a little cross reference in the body, right hand to left foot, reach long, and then elbow to knee, round it out. Again, a hand forward, leg back, inhale, and then exhale, pull it underneath you. One more time like that, arm forward, leg back, and then round it out. Good, hand down, knee down. Once again, hands and knees. This time I'm gonna have you tuck your toes. Lift your knees just an inch, maybe two inches off the floor. They just hover and you're gonna inhale, arch the back, open the chest. Keep those knees hovering, round your spine, drop your tail, drop your head. Beautiful, Chrissy. Inhale, arch the back, open the chest. Keep those knees hovering just an inch off the ground and then round it up. A Little bit of shake might start to happen in the abdomen now. Inhale, you'll arch. Keep that arch of the spine, start to lift your hips up and back and you're in a downward facing dog. Okay, a moment to pedal it out. Shift the weight a little side to side. Nice and easy. Good, walk your hands back towards your feet, come into a forward fold at the back of your mat and we'll take this just as a moment for the backs of the legs to get a nice stretch. So you can keep a little bend in the knees here is perfect. Drop the head, Chrissy's got cute pigtails in today so she can grab hold of her pigtails. If you wanna just interlace your hands at the back of the skull to give your neck a little release, any variation that you might know that you wanna do here is perfectly good and great to try. A little sway of the torso, a little rocking on your feet. You've got another three cycles of breath. Getting that clean hinge from the hip, letting the spine have a moment to release. Gravity helps do most of the work. 
and then open the chest and look forward. Release the hands down to the floor if they aren't already. Walk your way forward, 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 all the way to a high plank position. And then from here, just a really clean bend of your elbows back to lower straight onto the belly. Point your toes back, ground through the tops of the feet, lift the knees even, try and lift your thighs up off the floor here, and then start to curl your chest up off the floor for a low cobra shape. Elbows wrap back, extending through the length of the spine and then release back forward and down. Ground heavy through the pubic bone, anchor your tail back once again, inhale, lift up into your low cobra. And exhale to release. You've got one more of these, inhale, you'll lift up and exhaling to release back down. Good, tuck your toes, engage the legs once again so those knees and those thighs lift. You're gonna press your hands and press into those feet. Inhale straight up to a high plank pose. Good, and then hands and feet stay where they are, hips lifting up and back to your down dog. Take the right leg, float it high up and back behind you. Lunge the right foot all the way forward alongside the thumb. Lengthen through the spine, open the chest, and let's get really strong and smart through this back left leg. So as if you could lift your left thigh bone to the ceiling, your back heel charges in space. From here to start, hands on your front right thigh as you start to lift your torso up, coming in for a high lunge variation. Now let's take a micro bend in the left knee. Let your tail drop heavier to the floor. Scoop the low pelvic belly in and back to the spine so you really get that transverse abdominal range engaged. And then from here, start to re-extend your back leg. Lift up through your chest. If it's available, arms can reach up towards the ceiling for that high lunge. So nice. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, hands come down, framing the front foot. Simple step back through a plank pose. And then from here, you're going to start to lift your left heel up off the floor in line with its own seat. Once that left heel is lifting up off the floor, weight stays in the left hand and the right foot start to reach your right arm forward out in front of you. And we're only going to stay for a few cycles of breath for three, for two, for one. Hand down, foot down, seat high, downward facing dog. Let's take a bigger back bend this time. Inhale straight through to an upward facing dog. Pull your chest forward and through. Upper arm bones roll back. Good. And then seat lifts high to a downward facing dog. Taking your left leg this time, lift it high up and back behind you. Lunge the left foot all the way through alongside the thumb. Start with the charge of your back leg so you already find where that leg is in space and then hands on your front thigh as you lift your chest up. That reorientation of where your torso is in space, let's take a moment, bend your back right knee, lengthen the tail, scoop that low pelvic belly in so you've got support from the very base of you and then re-extend your right leg as straight and strong as you can get it. Keep that front knee bent to 90 degrees and then reach your arms up towards the ceiling for that high lunge. The torso will get really bright. You'll feel like you could take in maybe a bigger cycle of breath. So do it, take an inhale, fill the front of the lungs up. And as you exhale, hands come down, frame the front foot, stepping your way back through plank position, top of a push up. This time in a high plank pose, you're gonna take your right foot, lift it up off the floor. Leg is still extended out long, weight in the right hand, left arm reaches forward out in front of you. And then you're gonna try and find that cross reference, support, take it for three. For two, for one, hand down, foot down, seat high, downward facing dog, so nice. Inhale straight through to an upward facing dog, pull your chest forward. Wave it back to a downward facing dog, hips are high. Tap your knees to the floor for a moment. And then take yourself into a child's pose, exactly. Take your hands together at a prayer out in front of you on the ground. Keep your elbows on the floor. Tip that prayer towards the middle space of your back so you get a little length and stretch for the tricep, the underside of the arm. And then maybe walk your elbow points a little further forward so you really get that feeling of a tug all the way past even the tricep along the armpit to the front of the chest. Taking an easy breath in. And exhaling, let your hands release forward. And from here, you're gonna just shift yourself forward onto your forearms with your hands interlaced. Bring your hands and your elbows a little further forward out in front of you. And then your knees are gonna stay on the floor, but you're gonna walk your knees back like you're in a, a plank pose, but with your knees tapped on the floor. Now from here, keeping your pelvis low. So I don't want your booties to pop up into the air. You're gonna keep your pelvis low, more or less, in line with the shoulders. And this already, you're probably getting a little abdominal shake, but you're gonna take your elbows and walk them another inch forward out in front of you. Try and keep your vision forward. Gaze stays forward, so you're not gonna let your head drop heavy. And then take your elbows another inch out in front of you. 
And then, oh my gosh, my belly's starting to shake, so hopefully your belly's starting to shake too. You've got one more, walking your elbows another inch, maybe even it's just a centimeter forward, your body's still hovering off the floor for a three, for a two, for a one. Relax the pelvis down. I know, that one's hard. You can make a palm pillow with your hands, let your forehead or one cheek rest on the mat, maybe a little rocking of your hips from side to side. Good, and then you'll take your hands alongside the ribs, tuck your toes, engage with the legs, a fiery lift straight up to your high plank pose on your in-breath, and then seat lifts up and back to your downward facing dog. Good, let's take the right leg, lift it high up and back behind you. Lunge your right foot all the way forward in between the hands, back knee stays lifted, back heel lifted, rising up this time right into your high lunge. You can readjust your pelvis, your legs as you need to. Lifting up through the waist, taking your hands to a prayer at the center of the chest. Now gaze slightly forward to the ground out in front of you. Hands stay at a prayer. Lean your torso forward on an angle. And then weight's going to shift just into the right foot as you come forward, warrior three. As your torso tilts forward, flex through that lifted left foot back behind you. Reach through that left heel. And then you're going to inhale, hands reaching forward. As you exhale, elbows pull in, knee pulls into the chest. You're gonna let your spine round and just hover. Inhale, arms forward, leg back. Exhale, elbows and knee towards one another. You've got one more of those, inhale. And exhale to curl. This time, keep your hands at a prayer. Extend your left foot back, hands down to the floor, low lunge. And then simple, step it back, downward facing dog, hips are high. From your downward facing dog forward to a plank pose, top of a push up. Nice, clean Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows bending back alongside the body. Roll over the feet this time, upward facing dog. Good, downward facing dog, hips are high. Left leg lifts up and back behind you. Lunge your left foot all the way through alongside the thumb. Keep your back knee, back heel lifted, reaching up to your high lunge, directly torso up to the ceiling, hands reaching up. And then keep that length for the waist. Both hands come to the center of the chest at a prayer. Inhale here. As you exhale, tilt the torso forward. Weight shifts into the left foot. Float off of the right leg. Warrior three. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, elbows and knee curl in towards one another. Spine can round. Inhale, reach it out. And exhale to curl. Good. One more of these. Inhale, arms forward, leg back. And exhale to curl. And then this time, hands can stay at a prayer. Reach that right leg back, hands to the floor, low lunge. Regular downward facing dog. Forward to your plank pose, top of a push up. Bending the elbows back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Over the toes, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, hips are high. Very nice. Lift high in the balls of both feet. Bend your knees quite a bit. Look forward to your hands. Either step, step. Nope, don't step, step. Hop, cross at the ankles. Come forward to a seat. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Get yourself to a seat however you need to. From here, you're going to be on your buttock bones. Bring your feet together out in front of you. Knees together. Grab the backs of your thighs. And then sitting up nice and tall. So just feel like you're pulling out of your low back. Spine is nice and long. And then come up onto just the tippy toes. From here, start to draw your knees together and start to lift your feet up off of the floor. Navasana. Arms can start to reach forward out in front of you. So the arms stream long if it's available, if you can handle it. And then maybe the legs straighten out as well. Feisty. Very nice, Chrissy. <laughs> Chest lifts. Take an inhale. As you exhale, Ardha Navasana, lower and hover, legs extend forward, torso hovers off the ground, and then inhale, come back up. Exhale to Ardha Navasana, lower and hover. One more here, lifting up. And this time, lower and hover, torso off the floor, bring your hands behind the back of your skull, and then right elbow to left knee, cross-reference. And then left elbow to right knee. And you're going to just do a few of these yogi bicycle crunches from right to left. And you can start to speed it up and build a little more fire. So start to go faster from right to left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Yep. We'll go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Good. Four, three, two, one. Reach the legs out long. Reach your arms overhead. Hook your thumbs. Give your waist 
a nice bit of length as you shimmy side to side. And then draw your knees into your chest. Give them a nice deep squeeze in. Rock up and down the spine a few times, forward and back, forward and back, till you're all the way up in a seat. And then feet on the floor. Uncross your ankles. Feet can be just about hips distance apart. Take your hands five to six inches behind your seat. Fingers pointing forward or if the shoulders are tight, fingers can point out to the right and left. Roll your upper arm bones back. Draw your sternum up to the ceiling. Press your feet firmly down and then scoop your pelvis up so the hips come in line with the knees. Upper arm bones rolling back. Maybe you let your head fall back if that's comfortable with the neck. Otherwise, chin can stay tucked into the chest. Think of lifting the back of the pelvis up, lifting the heart up with the use of the shoulder blades lifting. Take one more cycle here, breathing in. And exhale, good. Seat comes back down to the floor. From here, you're going to scoot your seat forward a few inches, and then you can take your hands and just reach them forward out alongside you and really slowly navel pulling into the spine, curl all the way down towards the seat. Very nice. Yeah, adjust your, your braids if you need to once you're lying down. Pull your heels in close towards your bum. And then we're gonna do just a, a little bit of active bridge pose to uh, finish class. Press your feet down, your feet are hips distance, heels pulled in close. Take your hands, reach them alongside the body, palms can face down. And then you're gonna roll already your upper arm bones back so the chest has a bright lift. Press into those feet and scoop your hips up. Try and get the hips once again as high as the knees. As the hips lift high, take those hands, interlace them underneath you, and then you can rock a little side to side so you wrap those upper arm bones underneath the chest. The feet press down, make sure you find those big toe ball mounds of both feet pressing down, hips lifting high, and then the breath is still moving through you. Make sure you're not turning your head or your neck one way or another way, head is on straight, faces up towards the ceiling. And let's do one more cycle here, breathing in. And exhale, you'll release the interlaced palms, release your hips back down to the floor and untuck your shoulders. Take your feet as wide as the mat, knock your knees in together and you'll have just a moment of easy constructive rest here. We're gonna finish with a light hip opener lying on our back. So from there, left foot's gonna stay on the floor, right leg up to the ceiling. Hook your right ankle over on top of the left knee. Figure four shape, draw the left knee into the chest. Hands interlaced behind the left thigh or in front of the left shin like Chrissy is showing here. You can flex through that left foot, right foot rather, and press your right knee away from you as you try and draw your left knee in closer to you. A little rock side to side is nice here, maybe just any kind of free movement that you know to do that'll help loosen up the hips after all of that work we've done. And then you'll release and take the second side. So left foot can be on the floor, unhook your right foot, and then take your left ankle when you're ready on top of the right knee and interlace the hands either behind the back of the leg or in front of the shin energetically pressing the left knee away from you as you draw your right knee in closer. And then again, that little rock side to side is nice. Good, and then you'll unhook the ankle, release the hands, feet on the floor. And then last little thing we'll do here, legs are up in the air, arms are up in the air, and we're just gonna, for a few seconds, shake it all out. So you'll shake your hands, shake your fingers, shake your wrists, shake your ankles, your feet, your toes, your full length of the legs feels like it gets a little looser for another three, two, one, and then land feet on the floor, hands on the body. You can drop the knees in together, feet can be a little bit wider, and maybe you take a minute of rest here, or if you want to let your legs extend all the way out for a full Shavasana, you can let the legs extend forward and out in front of you. We're not here very long, but again, you decide if knees bent or legs extend feels like the right choice today. And just after that short little sequence of really activating and asking for your focus and your attention to hone in. Seeing now if you can allow the full body to just have like a melt, a release into the ground underneath you. Soften the muscles, soften the bones. Feel like everything just gets really heavy, like it could soak into the earth and you could give away any need or grip of control that's still holding. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale. 
If your legs are extended out, you'll bend your knees, feet on the floor, take your right arm overhead and just roll to the right side for an easy fetal shape. A big breath into the back space of the body here. And then you'll push your hands into the ground and start to lift yourself up to a comfortable seat, however you wanna sit on your mat. Just a final moment, hands can rest on the lap, eyes can be closed, spine lengthens, and you just register the work you've done, space you've created, and space you've settled to. And all together, we'll take one final big breath in. And exhale the air out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We love uh, a little strengthening workout maybe to start your day or as an add-on to any other workouts that you're playing with right now. A moment to kind of test balance and fire things up to get quick muscle activation if you need it. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you want more videos like this, you can always subscribe to Well and Good. I am Chloe, this is Chrissy, and we're from Skyting, and we'll see you soon.